Hello, my hearties. A very good evening to you. It's just me, Scotty McClue, and we are live. It's just after six o'clock, six o eight, on uh, Wednesday, the twenty uh, seventh. Twenty seventh, we're at of September. How amazing is that? Lovely to be with you. And uh, tell ten to tell ten to tell ten that we are live. Dinky do to every single one of you. That's what I say. Um, get on and uh, follow us as soon as you can. There's Lemon Brandos. Lemon Brandos. Diggity. Hey again, Scotty. Hey, how are you getting on, Malachi? Have I got that right? It is Malachi, isn't it? How fantastic is that evening? Says Ancas. Evening, Ancas. Guys, tell us where you're watching from when you come on. Dinky do, Scotty, from England. Which part of England are you in, Thai? Tell us more. Yay! Yay, says Malachi. We love that. That's fantastic. Good evening, everybody. And a very big dinky do to you. Birmingham again, says Ancas from Birmingham. Hope you're doing great, mate. Thank you, Malachi. Dinky do Stormzy is in Lancashire. Which part of the beautiful Lancashire? The West Midlands near Coventry. Oh, I wouldn't want to be sent to Coventry. Actually, I love Coventry. I was most impressed by Coventry Cathedral. So there you have it. All right, Scotty Meaty. Absolutely, Rory. Dinky do the Northwest. We love the northwest of England. What a beautiful part of the world that is. I can tell you. So there we are. Fantastic. Now then, um, Scotty, how are you? We're in Edinburgh. Errol, how lovely to hear from you. How is Edinburgh tonight? Have you got storms? Have you got rain? Um, there's uh, Big Daddy giving it oi oi. Oi, oi, big daddy. Oi, oi, I say. Guys, as soon as you come on, get following. Can you say dinky do to Reese? Says Rory, yes, of course I can, Rory. That's never a problem. Errol says it's wet, wet in Edinburgh. Now, it's not often wet in Edinburgh, I can tell you. There we are. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Um, hi, my name's uh, Charlie. Charlie, it's lovely to hear you. And dinky do, I'm Scotty. What can I do for you? Just want to express something. Yes. Uh, Alec Boyd. Your 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 name's your name's Boyd. Thought you said it was Charlie. So there we are. <laughs> very very strange. So there we are. What an interesting thing to say though. My name's Boyd. I don't know. What will we get next? I say. I think you do from Augusty Cheshire. Ah yes. Have you got Storm Agnes? There we go. Uh, do you like Star Wars? Well, I've never really been in one. Hey, Scotty, did you do? Hello, Warren. So there you are. Um, I think his second name is Boyd. I think so, Les Brandes. So maybe it's it's Boyd. Mitch has sent me a red rose. Guys, we never ask for anything, but we always set a little goal in case anybody's feeling flush and wants to pop a red rose in. Can every single one of you watching right now please follow me right now and I'll read your names out as you follow. There we are. That's what it's all about. Right, says Lambramis. So there we go. Hey, hey, Scotty. Now then, can you wish me a happy birthday for today, please? Josephine, of course. Happy birthday to Josephine for today. Uh, has everybody followed Red Roses? Hi from Kilmarnock. Think he do. Uh, Scotty IQ question. If you can name a ship, what would you call it? If I could name a ship, what would I call it? Um, I might call it the Lady Christabel after my mother. I named the ship the Lady Christabel. Uh, God bless her and all who sail in her. There you are. Something like that. I don't know. What do you think? Uh, can you wish me luck for my weapons training at the Lancashire Company? I can, Lembramos. Absolutely. You take care now. My father was once in a trench and somebody pulled the pin out of a grenade and dropped it by accident. Oh, I don't know, for goodness sake. Now then, 
worried the night I've got a caravan in Girvan and the storm is coming. Yes, it did storm Agnes. I told you a friend rang me last night. He was a bit relieved because, uh, you know, very weird to think that a hurricane was good, but he thought Storm Agnes was his mother-in-law coming to stay. Oh, say hi to Finlay. Finlay, lovely to have you with us. A very good afternoon from Blackpool, says Bobby. Hey, hey we love Blackpool. There's a famous seaside town called Blackpool that's famous for fresh air and fun. And Mr. and Mrs. Ramsbottom went there with young Albert, their son. I better not say any more. I stubbed my pinky toe. Ah, Jack, you need to be very careful. Are you taking calls, says Bonnie? We are, yes, but not from we dafties. We're taking sensible calls. So there you have it. Follow us as soon as you can. Uh, hi, Wally. Wally is a, what's he calls himself, a crack. Pot. I don't know what that is. What was a crackpot, Willie? Willie says he's a crackpot. I made a shout out for we Giggle from uh, Nits Hill. Oh, yes, we love Nits Hill. Guys, have you all followed? Let me see who's not followed. Oh, lots of you haven't followed now. Come on. That's real tut, tut, tutity tut. You follow me. I'll give you a shout out on here because we need to get these followers up, guys. You know, sort of a hundred and, what was it we had? 150 million have watched the TikToks and yet I've only got 30,000 followers. Come on. What's going on? What's your favourite dram? Well, I don't actually drink alcohol, Stuart, but I did at one point and um, I had many favourite drams, I say to you. Hi from Carlton in Glasgow. I wonder if you know my wee friend Willie G from the Carlton. There we are. You're not doing the Hogmanay show this year. I might do the Hogmanay show this year. The best Hogmanay show we ever had. It's always been good. Something was started 31 years ago. And it's always been a brilliant show. But um, the best one, I think, was when we put all the Century Radios together at the Millennium. There we are. Dinky do. I say to you. Uh, follow us. Right. Laura's followed. And Laura's shared. Brilliant, Laura. What an absolute top lady. Guys, Laura has followed and shared. Can everybody else do the same? And I shall read your name out. And Jack has shared the live. Thank you, Jack. And um, there we have it. Fantastic. Robert's just joined. Mark's just joined. And we shout out to the Muscle Welk Stall doing the Barras. Amazing fair medley, of course. We can always shout out the muscle welt stall doing the barris. I say to you, Dale, thank you for sending me a heart me. What a lovely thing to do. Let me see what's happening on here. Uh, never a dull moment, my goodness. And McClue has to do the lot himself. I don't have a lovable lassie or a wizard of the big switchboard. If you're watching on the YouTube channel, please subscribe and uh, give me a thumbs up. So there you are. Now, to give me a thumbs up, you go down to the bottom left of the picture and you'll see a little thumbs up sign. If I hold my thumb like this, I think the thumbs up sign looks like that. Can you see it, guys? Somebody give me a thumbs up so I know you've seen it. So there we are, bottom left of the picture with your mouse, and there should be a little thumbs up. Can you see it? So can somebody give me a thumbs up if you're live on YouTube right now? Oh, thank you. Somebody's seen it. Brilliant, guys. Ah, oh, somebody else has seen it. How fabulous. Next one, please. Come on, let's all, let's all give me a thumbs up. It's down to the bottom right, and just give us a thumbs up and subscribe, please. Right. You're live on Scottish phone in, who's that? Scotty. Hello. Hi, all right. Hi, mate. Charlie here. Charlie here. Lovely to hear you, Charlie. Hi, right. So I was just phoning. What's your score predictions for the Rangers game tonight, man? Oh, the Rangers game tonight, man. Well, I could give you the result, but I don't think I'd be too popular. So I, I better not say it. thank you, Charlie, and have a good a good match tonight. And dinky do <laughs> that's our Charlie. 
There we are. Hi, Scotty. What have you got? Oh, guys, I love this. You're the person from Central FM. I am RFC. I set it up 30, 33 years ago. Oh. Some comments in the live were filtered to protect the community's experience. I love that because it means all the wee trolls have been booted doing the swaddy. Wonderful. Lovely. We're getting looked after. A shout out to PA from Milton. So there you are. Uh, now, do you know? Well, we know all that. Yes, of course, Jack. Absolutely. Uh, do you love the Royal Artillery? Everybody loves the Royal Artillery. They keep us safe in our beds. Absolutely. Keep the baddies away. The Royal Artillery up. The Royal Artillery. I always say to you. Uh, right, two we got here. Murray O'Donnell, hi Scotty. I'm just getting ready to head out into this wet and windy night. I'm going to the football. Well, of course, I could give you the score, Murray, but we want to steer clear of that. It would spoil the game. Uh, but you have a lovely evening. Please be very careful, Murray, because you are a very, very important man and you are very, very precious. There we go. And we love you on here, not just for all your kindness and generosity, but for you. Yes, indeed. Uh, Murray, did you see I put, up, uh, I put up a picture there about the booing? We did a video about the booing. We thought that was disgusting and disgraceful. You're live on Scotty's phone in, is that? But happening, Scotty. Happening, big man. There we go, isn't that lovely? We love all that. Fantastic. Now then, to the telephones. I can't wait for the storm. My man's putting the washing out. There we are. Josephine. Absolutely. How amazing. Fancy you remembering all that. So there we are. Now, there's your Dalek windows. And uh, dinky-doo, my G. Dinky-doo to you, my G. Top G. Guys, we need more followers. We should have another 50 to 60 followers right now. There's no excuse for not following. Scotty, the booing was against the fourth verse. As you well know it, no medley. Wrong, 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 wrong. The fourth verse hasn't been sung for 250 years. And halfwits that don't like the national anthem for whatever reason Always go, ah, rebellious Scots to crush. I don't think we've been singing that. Well, I don't think we've been singing it for 250 years. So there you go. I've subbed on YouTube. Thank you. Thank you, Dale. Can everybody sub on YouTube, guys? The link is just on the bio there. On the bio. There we go. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello? <laughs> A wee giggler. It's all these wee gigglers, isn't it? Ring it up. Giving me a lot of nonsense. I don't know. Delighted that their phones actually work. <laughs> Dinky do, says Tyrone. There we go. Joke time, moosh. Come on then, Jack. Give us a joke. Uh, hi from Cumbernauld, says the wonderful Angela. Same principle, says Medley. No Medley. Nothing to do with that at all. Just admit you got it wrong. Nothing to do with the fourth verse. Just the fact that these halfwits don't understand how the monarchy works. So there you are. And they were a disgrace to Scotland. And we don't like that. We don't like a disgrace to Scotland. Guys, can everybody sub on the YouTube channel, please? Uh, now, what have we got? Oh, Brian. Did you hear about Uncle Chris? I did, I did, Brian. I heard last night uh, Margie rang me. Would it be Auntie Margie? Is that right? I've got that right. And um, Brian, are you in touch with Pat? Can you please give him my very best regards and my sincere condolences? Because uh, I had a lot of great chats with Uncle Chris, you know, and Uncle Peter and Uncle James. But Pat, uh, you know, I can't seem to get a hold of Pat. Uh, but if you can get in touch and just tell him Scotty's asking for you, that would be great. Could you do that for me, Brian? That would be so good. Yes. 
Have you ever watched Benidorm? You sound like Donald. Have you? I haven't seen Benidorm, and I haven't been. Is there a charge for culling? Uh, there's a charge if you get it wrong. <laughs> the charge is a lifetime ban. Uh, to my knowledge, I don't think there is. Anybody I've spoken to, Dale, has said they've never seen anything on their bill. Um, but, I mean, don't take my word for it. You know, I can't guarantee it. But it's only going to be a quick call anyway, do you know what I mean? Uh, I love our anthem, Flower of Scotland. Uh, a packed Hamden all together with chills where you see AFC, our anthem is God save the King. And everybody should know that our anthem is not Flower of Scotland, but I do like Flower of Scotland. And I heard it when it was first sung. It's a very gentle folk song. It's actually not meant to be belted out like that. It's a very soft, gentle folk song written by the wonderful Roy Williamson of the Corries, an old Gordon Stonian boy. And the Corries were just outstanding. Uh, they were very big on the whole national thing. Right, we need to get to uh, see what's going on here. Coventry was well bombed during the war, hence the meaning behind. I wouldn't want to get sent to Coventry. Well, that's right, voice of reason, good for you. Uh, sending someone to Coventry has nothing to do with bombs, says Mr. Martin. Right, Mr. Martin, good for you. But they are, we seem to have a dichotomy here. That sorted you all out. Scotty, I can't receive you on TikTok anymore. I've sent my notifications for you, but never received one from you. I'll have a look at that, Frank, and see what's what. It's my birthday today, says Susan. Can we all wish Susan a happy birthday? She's a wonderful lady, and uh, she's a loyal viewer, and she's always supported Scotty McClue. Isn't that right, Susan? Uh, love our anthem. Yes, God save the king. Belt it out. So there you go. Now then. Have you got much more on this week, Eric? Jacob, I am a very, very, very busy man. I do a wonderful, wonderful job, uh, a day job and a night job. Yes, I'm on here to support, to support football, not financially. Thank you for that beautiful gift. I've just received a beautiful gift, guys. Uh, so there we go. Uh, a shout out to Davy uh, and Shazza uh, and tell her I love her. Thank you, dear. Uh, what did you think of the game last night? I didn't watch. Prue has sent me a huge amount of red roses and Sandy is sending me red roses. There's Callum who hates Protestants. What are they, Callum? What is a pro-descant? Somebody who's pro... Oh, pro descants. You don't like high singing. Right, I've got you. Thanks, Dale and Mr. Martin. Happy birthday to Susan. There we go. Uh, now, what else have we got? We're well behind here. I need to get back. Good evening, everybody. Uh, Murray O'Donnell, the wonderful Murray O'Donnell's off to the football. So there you are. Does it cost to call, says Lewis? I don't know, Lewis. Um, I, it may do, but it would be a small cost. But I don't know. Where, are you, where would you be calling from? Fiddle dee dee, says Blue. Uh, good evening, Scotty. How's your day been? Outstanding day today. Very happy about it to Susan. Why don't you start playing music requests like your old radio days? Because Rapid Recycling Scotland we would get um, a copyright strike right away. All the top songs are copywritten, and uh, if you're on social media, you can't play them without a license. So there we are. So that's why I don't start playing music requests like I did in my old radio days. You see? Do you see the difference? Has everybody followed me? I need another 50 followers, guys. 50 of you following. Everybody watching should follow. There's absolutely no excuse not to follow. If you follow, Prue has given me a pudsy bear and Sinead, Jack sent me a rugby ball. You're very, very kind. Guys, 
I've got 20 red roses already. There's the, the goal, but you never, ever, ever have to give Scotty McLeary anything. It's just if you fancy it and you're feeling flush and you think I'm worth it, you can pop a red rose in there. Sending somebody to Coventry has nothing to do with bombs, says Mr. Martin. So voice of reason and Mr. Martin, you two have a dichotomy. You're obviously, uh, you know, crossed swords there. Um, thanks, Dale, and to Mr. Martin. A happy birthday to Susan, says Thomas. Thank you, Thomas. You are very, very kind. Has everybody subbed me on the YouTube channel? And guys, your old radio days, that was the time, wasn't it? Absolutely, we loved it. Prue, what are you doing? You are very, very kind. Definitely. God save the black pudding. Yes, we love black pudding. I got Burry black puddings once. Stop. They were lovely. And I, I've always fried black pudding. But the gentleman from Burry said, just give him a good boiling. Ah, a good boil. That's when I met a lady who was 86, 85 or 86. She'd got up at six, five or six in the morning and got, I think it was five buses, she said, from Liverpool to see Scotty McClue open the Burry market. It's so moving. It's so moving. And that's uh, that's 25 years ago. Burry Black Puddings. So perhaps she'll not be with us on an earthly journey now, because that would make her 110. But she was wonderful. 85 or 86, coming to see Scotty McClue, because she loved listening to the radio at night. Rory says... Can you say Chucky La? Chucky as in Chucky Steen or Chucky as in Chucky. Somebody's going to chuck you. There we are, fantastic. Up the Royal Artillery, says Callum. We salute the Royal Artillery, Callum. There we are. There's Oh Cancel. Uh, yes, and uh, Oh Cancel, that happened 101 years ago. So you're a wee bit late with that one. I can't. Tell you is talking the Gaelic from a hundred years ago. Absolutely, just forget all that now. Uh, Prue is sending more red roses, and so is Jack. Guys, we're getting mobbed with red roses. I've got 52. Is that not incredible? As everybody tap, 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 de tap, tap, de tap, de tap on their phones, and have we all followed? There we go. So, all cans. All cans, you're a hundred years out of date. Rory says uh, it's cool. No, it's it's not cool, Rory. It's actually a hundred years old. Uh, it's just an old uh, an old slogan that people used to shout. Uh, so there we go. Now we do love the Royal Artillery. We do, Gary. Everybody loves them. Um, up the independent Royal Artillery, says Callum. Well, they're all part of the British Army, Callum. So there we go, I say to you. Now, uh, what have we got here? That's excellent. Uh, Fitz and Arbord, man. Ah, medley, it's all about the chat. That's what we do, we chat on here. And apparently, we love it. So there we go. Now, Rory is uh, beginning to, uh, Rory's becoming a bit of a nuisance, so we'll just get a shot of them. That's right, all that nonsense. Uh, say Partick Thistle, Partick Thistle. Wonderful, fantastic. So there you are, Scotty McClure. Your squeeze box is 100 years old. People still speak Gaelic in Scotland. Occasionally, Lewis, yes. Kamraha umaha hakama, falchi falchi ki da mili falchi don TikTok, agus Scotchach McLuach, agus uh, YouTube. Uh, Prue, what can I say, guys? Prue has gone right over the top with the red roses. A hundred, 
and 25. Was right there. Amazing. Richard and Captain Gla. Captain Glasgow, is that right? Hi, Scotty, can I get a shout out? Yes, Magnus, of course you can. You missed my salute. No, we got your salute, Gary. Fantastic. Uh, sent to Coventry is an idiom. Oh, Mr. Martin, are you not quite the boy? An idiom used in England meaning to deliberately ostracize someone. Typically, this is done by not talking to them, avoiding their company, and acting as if they no longer exist. Well, we've done that to a few people, haven't we? Sent them to Coventry. It's a very old saying I can remember as a child. Jack has sent me 60, 61, 60, oh my goodness. Jack sent 65 red roses. Guys, I've got 241 red roses. Is that not beautiful? Have you ever hunted haggis, Scotty? Only in season. I would never, ever, ever hunt a haggis out of season. So there we are. Dinky do, I say. Fantastic. Now then, uh, what are we getting here? Scotty, if you were outstanding in your field, you'd be getting wet. Very good. A scarecrow got an OBE for being outstanding in his field. Ha, ha. Prue. Prue is back in the game and very, very, very generously. Good lot. Guys, we're 50% of target. 50%. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, has everybody followed? If you're watching on the YouTube channel, please give us a thumbs up down the bottom left. And if you're feeling flush, you can tap the dollar at the bottom of the super chat. And uh, if you'd be kind enough to subscribe, it's free. Free. So you just sub click the subscribe to Scotty McClue button. Are you fabulous or mega fabulous, says Aaron? Oh, Aaron. Mega fabulous. Top man. Prue, thank you. She sent me a little duckling. It's quite emotional, actually, guys. You're very, very kind. Thank you so much for your kindness. Legend, says Stephen. Dinky do, Stephen. How can I call, says Callum? Well, you just pick up your telephone and you dial 0141 628 -9795. 0141-628-9795. There we are. Give us a call and give us some of your chit chat. Can everybody on the YouTube channel share, please? It's banter in Gleska. It's the creek in Ireland. Yes, that's it in Ireland. The creek. What's the creek, Scotty? There we are. Well said, says Mr. Martin. Voice of Reason says, Mr. Martin, you've consulted with Prophet Google, and you're correct, I bow down to your superiority. I'm not worthy to even be on this highly respected platform with Scotty McLean. Yes, you are, voice of reason. You're very welcome. And thank you for all your, your very erudite comments. I phoned last Friday, says Dom. You did, Dom. You're mega fabulous, says Magnus. Magnus, you're mega fabulous, I say. Prove. What are you doing with all your pennies? Prue's given me more red roses. Guys, 258 red roses out of 500. 258. It's huge. 4,900 likes. Thank you so much to all the tap, 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 -de tap, tap, -de tap, -de tap, taps. Thank you so much, guys. Has everybody subscribed? Can somebody on the YouTube channel please tell me how many subscribers we have? Right, and everybody else on the TikTok, go and sub. Um, there we are, Partick Thistle. Yes. The garlic for fire. Yes, indeed, Maha. Thank you. Hiya, Scotty. Captain Glasgow. Scotty McClure is apparently very big in Barra. 
Now, I haven't been to Barra, but I'm getting told that I'm very big in Barra. Has anybody else heard that? Uh, guys, I need another 50 followers. Can 50 of you follow me right away, please? Uh, Mr. Martin, yes, indeed. Sorry for being mentally challenging because your intellect is incomparable to anyone else on the planet. You should be a brain surgeon with your immense talent. I don't know if a brain surgeon is a measurement of intelligence quotient. You obviously have to be extremely bright and you have to have a great grasp of your subject. But I think it's semi-mythical and legendary and fabulous to think that because you're a brain surgeon, you're the most intelligent person on the planet. Uh, the brain is one of the most intelligent things on the planet. Guys, I've got 6,000 likes and 258. Look at the red roses. Can you see them there? If I point my finger on the TikTok, you won't see it on YouTube, guys. If I point my finger on the TikTok, can you see the goal? Is that right? Captain Glasgow's sending heart me's. Hi, Scotty, says Captain Glasgow. I wouldn't go that far, says Mr. Martin. Susan says 4,400 on YouTube, Scotty. Thank you, Susan. Guys, we need that up to 500. Uh, sorry, 5,000. So I need 600 of you to go and sub the YouTube channel for me, please. Uh, so we can start to grow it properly. There we are. And there's lots of brilliant videos like the TikTok. Have you looked at all the TikTok videos, guys? Uh, can I have another 40 followers, please? Thank you so much. My neighbor knocked on my door at 2 a.m., Scotty. I was so shocked. I was playing the bagpipes. <laughs> there was a guy woke up in the middle of the night and he didn't know what time it was. He was a trumpeter. So he played his trumpet out the window. Somebody shouted, Oi! It's three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Captain Glasgow has sent me 40 red roses. More. No, 40. 40. And he sent a lot more than that, I can tell you. Prue has sent another 32. Guys, 325 red roses. Is that not beautiful? Cam has sent me a red rose as well. You're very kind, Cam. Guys, only send you don't have to at all. It's just if you like Scotty McClue and you think he's worth a few red roses. That's very kind of you. Captain Glasgow's sending. Uh, Mr. Martin, I think you do. So did you sort out your dichotomy, boys? Voice of reason, Mr. Martin. Guys, if you're watching on the YouTube channel, up bottom left of the picture, you'll see a little thumbs up like that. Is it that or that way. Depends how this is scanning, which way you're actually seeing it. That would be brilliant. A thumbs up to let us know that you're there. And also share this and subscribe. Uh, so there we have it. What have we got here? Save the meat market. They're building houses on it. Medley, they're building houses everywhere. So there we are. I love you, Scotty. Thank you so much, Zaz. You're very kind. Scotty, have you ever been on the bus to Yoker? Uh, yes, well, I got the bus out to Drum Chapel. And I got on, and the driver, he was one of these smarty pants. I had a fiver on me, but no loose change. And I held the fiver up. He goes, what do you expect me to do with that? I didn't tell him I kept my mouth shut. But I said, well... Pay my fare, you know, I've not got change. I said, Well, what would you expect me to do? And he said, Well, see if anybody else has got change. <laughs> Guys, we're 80% of target on the red roses. How kind is that?
How beautiful is that? And thank you if you've tapped the dollar bill at the bottom left of the YouTube channel. We've achieved target. Captain Glasgow has been going bananas and your Daleks have sent me red roses. Guys, guys, what can I say but thank you? Thank you, thank you. Oh, my goodness me. Shout me out, Mush, says Jack. Your Daleks and Captain Glasgow are still going. I cannot believe this. Big shout out to the wee shop in Strathire. Medley. I went through Strathire one day and I'm very glad I was going very slowly because the polis were hiding round the corner at the bottom of the village. Did you know that? Captain Glasgow, thank you. You're very, very, very generous. We've got our goal. There we are. Dinky do. Are you fabulous or mega fabulous? There we go. Uh, wonderful stuff. Prue, don't give a number out on here, dear. Oh, there you are. Shout us out, guys. Prue sent red roses. What does a dinky do mean on your hat? It means it's all well with you and the world. Captain Glasgow, what are you like? Taking ages to read the chat. Yeah, I know we're a bit behind. Uh, so there we are. I'll move on a little bit. Thank you so much. I'm getting more. No, Captain Glasgow. It's telling me to set up a new goal. Uh, Scotty McLeod is worth more than a few mere red roses. You're very entertaining, Scotty. Cam, that is such a lovely thing to say. So good of you, and thank you. Guys, thanks for the goal. Uh, I will set a new one up, but for the next program, don't feel you have to give a thing. So there we go. Because it pops up automatically when you come up with the next live. I tell you. And there we have it. Right. And we've done that, and that's confirmed. Good. And you confirm it again. You confirm it several times. Lovely. And then you do that, and then you should be able to see it. Ah. So kind, guys. So very, very kind of you. We've been up for 37 minutes. I don't believe it. Uh, I need another 52 followers. 52. Can we have 52 people following? I'll shout your names out. Right? I'll give you a shout out as soon as you come up. Uh, there we go. Hi, it's Kaylin. Thank you. Shout out to Harry. Scotty, my mate, say hi to Michael. Cara, that's a lovely, lovely thing to say. I thank you. There we are. I love you, Scotty McClue. Yes, my mocheda. Uh, big Ian. <laughs> there we go. Shout out to Harry. Cara, that's very kind of you. Thank you. So there you are for contributing to the live goal, guys. So good. And we achieved target. If anybody's feeling flush, you could put one in to start the next one. But just one. All right, one I say to you. Scotty, you're very entertaining. Could you shout me out, please? I can cope. Is it cope or cope? No, your Daleks and Stuart, stop. We're in, we're sorted. There's two in. Shout out to Toby, please, says Tom. Guys, am I catching up with the messages? It's very difficult. There's so many come in. We can actually get behind a bit. You're not too bad yourself, are huh, Mr. Martin? Listen to uh, guys, the voice of reason and Mr. Martin have made up, right? I think they are made up. So there we are. Amy's just joined us. Grumpy says, ha ha, equipment do you need for the phone in? No, we're going to uh, do some advertising. And we're going to see if we can up uh, the quality of, I better watch what I'm saying, I don't want to offend the equipment. So, well, uh, you know what I'm saying. All that stuff, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to offend what we've got in case it, it cuts out on me. 
followers, guys. Thank you so much. Who's following? Tom has followed. Toby, dinky do. Opinion of Scottish independence, you'll see it all in the videos. I could tell you that there. Scotty, your sound's gone. Press the blue button. No, the sound's fine, Tom. I think your sound is gone. Mine is absolutely amazing. Modern of Scotland. There we are, dinky do. Maybe you try that on with some live people. Oh, I'm funny. Not. And then, hello from Canada, brother. Dylan. Lovely to have you with us from Canada. Whereabouts in God's country are you? Uh, Scotty, please let me join you, and you've joined. There we are. Scotty, don't tease me, Toby. Naughty. There you are. Uh, right, here's the, here's the making up, guys. Are you ready? Mr. Martin says, voice of reason, I think I'm getting to like you. Oh. Listen to this, guys. The voice of reason says, Mr. Martin, I can't think of any more superlatives to describe you. You're amazing. An absolute genius. A genius. Uh, Mr. Martin, you're not too bad yourself. This is amazing. <laughs> the voice of reason, it does take a certain degree of intellectual ability to perform a lobotomy. So I would say being a brain surgeon is a clear sign of someone with a highly developed brain. Uh, more than the average person. Now, how do we know how well developed the average person's brain is? And how have you averaged the person? We need to know more voice of reason. Mr. Martin says JFK's sister had one. So there you are. Uh, had one what, Mr. Martin? JFK's sister, uh, if you're talking about uh, Kathleen, Kathleen Kennedy, was killed in a plane crash in 1948. Yes, she was accompanying uh, Peter Fitzwilliam, Lord Fitzwilliam. And they were in a de Havilland dove. And um, the pilot had done his flight plans and they were back. They'd had lunch in Paris and they were late back to the flight. And the pilot was worried about the storms over the, was it the Ardennes? We're going to the south of France and they were in a de Havilland dove. It's a superb aircraft. And it was just the two of them and the two pilots, the pilot and the co-pilot, and the storm got up and blew them into a mountainside and they were both killed. Tragic. Absolutely tragic. And Kathleen Kennedy is buried in Edensa because she was widowed, having been married to uh, the Marquis of Hartington, who's the heir to the dukedom of um, uh, Chatsworth the Cavendish, the Duke of Devonshire. Scotty, mate, you're making me angry. Why am I making you angry, Toby? So there we are. Chicken and a car of cock, says Medley. I'm learning Scouse Scotty. They do that, don't they, do? Yeah, they do do that, they, that uh, they do. Uh, so there we are. Why are we making you angry, Toby? Scotty, shut it now. Shall we ban Toby, guys? Uh, let me join you and speak to you, says Ewan. Ewan, you've joined us. You can speak to us anytime. Phone us. I'm going to visit Dieppe. A grander got shot and captured. It was four years in captivity. Medley. I am sorry to hear that. I ban Toby. Shall we ban Toby, guys? If he's cheeking up to McClure, he's not really fit to be on here. Right, we'll give him a lifetime ban if he cheeks up once more. Uh, Scotty, stop. I'm very sorry. Don't, please. Toby G says he doesn't want banned. Is he a Toby Jug? Says Medley. I, I don't know. <laughs> Toby thinks he's the Hulk, says Amy. Yeah, he does. And he's cheeking up. Amy, tell me this. I'm, I'm curious. Are you watching the TikTok? 
And are you watching the YouTube channel? There we are. Ewan says, ban him. So Toby says, I am, mate, I am. What's your favourite song, says Tom. Tom, I have so many favourites. It's so difficult. Guys, we've been up for 45 minutes. So there we are. Now, Scotty, my dad knew who you were just by your voice. He was on the couch. Ah, Nathan. And did he say to you, is that Scotty McClure? Uh, what do you think of the Rosebank oil deal they've done? Well, I, I'm actually in favour of oil deals, guys. Sorry to spoil the party and pop your balloon. He said, is that Scotty McClure? And I said, yes, you're a legend, big chap. Apparently, I am, Waltz. I just see myself as well-known, but people say, you are so famous, Scotty, you have no idea. Well, I've got a wee bit of an idea because two billion people have heard of Scotty McClure. I wish they'd all send me a quid. And then he said you were a biased Celtic supporter and quite bitter. Hmm, well, he obviously has got the wrong person. Maybe he's thinking of Scotty McGlue. Uh, Scotty, you're looking hot today. You're very kind. Uh, Rangers or Celtic, please answer Scotty. Tom, I will, of course I will answer. Go and see them both play and then make a decision. You just have to decide these things. Guys, it's six minutes till seven o'clock. Is this a good time? Big shout out to the Barlini inmates. You're lucky you're not out in the storm, says Medley. Oh, that would be a blow. So there you go. Uh, what have we got here? Fantastic. So... Dobster Dinky Do. It just depends if you're a Catholic or a Protestant. What one you support? Oh no, no, Celtic love lots of Protestant supporters, and Rangers has got a lot of Catholic supporters. Absolutely, it's nothing to do with religion. It's football's a different thing. There's no connection with religion at all. Absolutely, you can be anything you like, can be a you can have all the world's great religions could be Rangers or Celtic supporters. Nothing to do with. I mean, it was started by a priest, yeah, uh, Celtic, but that doesn't make it a Catholic club. And Celtic are big, big on God save the king. So there we go. Now, what do we got here? Tom's laughing. Scotty, do some press ups. I've just done them here. Uh, so there you are. Tom says he's sent. Uh, £10,000. Let me check, Tom. Oh, well, it's not arrived yet, Tom. Maybe keep resending. <laughs> Guys, I need another um, 30 followers. So if you're watching right now, if you haven't followed, and I'll shout you out as you follow. Uh, yes, GF sister did suffer from mental health issues. Which one? Sadly, the family decided to incarcerate her in some sort of asylum out of the public sphere. Which one are you talking about, Voice of Reason? There you are. Uh, the Toby Drug, that's a good pub in Glasgow. Yes, I've been in it, Amy. Uh, the Toby Drug. And another one I used to like was the Pewter Pot. Do you know that one? Ford! You're live on Scottish phone in, who's that? Nobody. They don't know them. They forgot their name. They got through and thought, eh, eh, I don't know. <laughs> so there we are. You're in, thank you very much. Toby says he's sent 69420. There we are. No, I don't think you have. Scotty, hang up, mate. There we are. Okay, no problem at all. We've hung up. Um, yes, indeed. Now, what are we getting here? I don't think, Mr. Martin, that your average brain surgeon of the such a thing would have had a frontal lobotomy. What's your favourite hobby, Scotty? I quite like live streaming on TikTok and YouTube. Uh, guys, if you're watching on the TikTok, have you followed? Let me speak to you through the voice chat. What voice chat are you in? Uh, Scotty, I think you're muted. I can't hear you. Probably your equipment, Tom. Uh, there we have. Scotty, we can't hear you. 
says Tommy. There we are. We shall soon see. Uh, follow us, guys, as soon as you can. Who is not followed? Um, oh, we're needing more followers. Come on. And I'll shout you out. We can't stop. Oil. We need to transition into like, you know, medley. We need to keep oil. We need to ban all the stop oil stuff. Scotty, do you play rugby? Uh, if you do, then do you prop? Yes, I tight head prop, Tom. Down first. Boom! <laughs> Here we go. Mr. Martin says, when I was at boarding school in 1963, instead of the matron wishing me happy birthday, she told me JFK had been shot in Dallas. I remember that day. Did you watch his funeral on the telly, which came by, was it early bird satellite in those days? And it was very sort of snowy and black and white bit. We were just almost mesmerized and remember young John saluting his father's coffin, JFK Jr. Uh, Scotty, grow a moustache. Well, if you look at your TikTok videos, you'll see me on Magic Radio with a moustache. How do I phone you, Scotty? It says Keda. You uh, dial the number, Keda, 0141628-9795. I'm holding it up now. Oh, there's quite a lot of good pubs in Glasgow Central. Yeah, we'll not go into all mentioning all the pubs, Amy. So there you are. Scotty, change the hat. What for? Uh, I changed it last night for the Glen Gary. So there we are. Scotty, let me join you as a guest so I can speak to you properly. Speak to me on the phone, you. Uh, I saw you on uh, Magic Roundabout Dougal. That's harsh. Doctor Who has given me a red rose. Guys, we've got red roses there. If anyone's feeling flush, stick two in. And then that's it. I tell you, can I have a tip for horse racers? Yes. Never ever back a horse that's too well bred. Because as soon as it leaves the starting gate, it'll stop and shut it behind it. There's a tip. There's a tip for you. Absolutely. Now, what have we got? I remember saying to a guy in Glasgow, can you give us a tip? And he goes, hey, your grandmother running in the 3.30. <laughs> he thought it was funny, you know. It was, actually. <laughs> Uh, how are we all doing? I'll do some chat on here. I'll say, um, how are we all? Have we subscribed? Oh, uh, we subscribed. How are we all? Have we subscribed? And a question mark. We might as well get the grammar right. We've got a lot of grammarians on the YouTube and TikTok channel. What radio station were you on years ago when me and my mates used to listen to you during the night? Well, John, tell me uh, where you're based and I'll tell you what station it would be. There we go. Oops. Phone. You're live with Scottish phone in. Who's that? First name? Hello? Oh, thank you, do. What's your first name? <laughs> oh, it's too busy laughing. Right, there we go. We love all that. A, a fun start and a laughing fun start. All these wee guys phoning. Oh, there's a guy. Hey, hello. What's your first name? Hey. <laughs> there we go. Right. You in. That's what we do on the telephone. That's why we've got the telephones. We're going to have to dash, guys. We're nearly out of time. Do you want to tune on the squeeze box? There we go. Good evening, Scotty, you legend, says Andy, 10.50. 10.50, or is it 10.4, we said to you. Howdy, Scotty. Tad the lad. How lovely to have you with us, and thank you do. Uh, so there we are. Get the box out, Scotty. Well, I've got the box here. The picture's gone on YouTube. Right, Mr. Martin, it'll come back. I've got it here, so maybe it's something to do with your equipment. Has everybody else got a good YouTube picture, guys? Uh, tell me, 
If you want to tune in the squeeze box, give us the nod and we can give you a wee tune on the squeeze box. I say to you, turn the lights out, Scotty. No the box, Scotty. Uh, Scotty, come back. We miss you. Ah, what are you like? I say to you. Uh, what do you think of the situation, says Tad the Lad, with GB News? Well, I was watching somebody this afternoon that said there might be people out to get them. So there we are. So I think pinch of salt, guys. Uh, so there we have it. Hold on. We've got a baddie here, guys. We've got a baddie here. Ewan. So Ewan has to get banned for life. Yes, we don't like his style. There he goes. Every shout by Ewan. That's lovely. And there we go. The Black Bull, McPherson's Farewell. Ah, I'll see what I can give you. <sighs> right, here we go, guys. Quick tune on the space box, just for you. Scotty McClure saying, Dinky Do I Say To You. Right, are we ready? <laughs> on the TikTok and the YouTube. There we are. Guys, can all you YouTubers make sure you've subscribed? Can all the TikTokers subscribe to the YouTube channel? This is lovely, Scotty. Thank you, dude. Thank you, Tom. Very, very kind of you. Uh, there we are. Scotty, you really are the full package, says Captain Glasgow. Awesome. Never even saw your lips move. Well, I can't hear a thing without my glasses, you see. That's the problem. Now, who have we got here? Awesome, Mr. McLean. Well done, Scotty. Thank you. We love it. Thank you very, very much, guys. Very much appreciated. I say to you, bravo, bravo, Scotty. There's Lob from Nashville in the USA. Love it, says Donald. Dinky do. Hello, Scotty, says Lewis. Lewis, we're going to have to dash, guys. I'll sing you all the goodbye song. Are you ready? <clears throat> After two, join in. Two. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Avita Zain. Au revoir. And a cheerio. See you guys. Take great care of your dear selves. Bon nuit. Stick out your tongues and say ta ta. After two, two, pa pa, pa pa. <laughs> <laughs>